Hi, it's Andrea uh, from Elite Leadership Coaching by Andrea. Here today to finish up my post from two days ago where I talked a little bit about tips to build your influence. And so today I wanna finish up the tips, uh, but before we get into that, uh, a couple of reminders. We talked about demonstrating good work ethic, uh, being in alignment with values, and the concept of centrality uh, were the uh, concepts that we talked about two days ago. So today I have the last three tips uh, that I think will help to build your influence. First up is flexibility. And this is where you take initiative to participate in projects, assignments, tasks, uh, that really stretch your knowledge, skills, and abilities. If you are already in an organizational leadership position, then this can make reference to exploring, participating in different types of partnerships, mergers, ventures, maybe things that your company or department would not normally consider. And by doing so, it demonstrates that you're creative, you're innovative, you're open. And when people are uh, witnesses to that, uh, they tend to uh, view you as influential. And so being flexible can help you to build your influence. Second up is visibility. Two days ago, I talked about the concept of centrality, where you want to develop diverse relationships across your organization, so across departments and teams and levels of the organization. For visibility, this makes reference to how you show up in those relationships. So are you participating authentically, intelligently? Are you listening? Are you contributing uh, to those diverse relationships? Uh, across departments and teams and across different levels of the organization. Being visible and being authentic and not just being, you know, present in the room, but really contributing uh, in a smart, intelligent way uh, helps you to build your influence. And then third is uh, relevance. And out of all the tips, relevance really is at the heart of the individual. And this makes reference to uh, having a really good understanding of how your role contributes to the overall goal, mission, vision of the project or organization or department. And so if you are unclear about the expectations of you or how what you're being asked to do is going to contribute, then you really have a large responsibility and accountability to ask. Uh, how does this help contribute to the overall goal? And then if you're already a leader in the organization, it is really incumbent upon you to help people to understand uh, their role and to understand the expectations that you have of them and how those two things really contribute to the department goal and vision or the organizational goal and vision. So those are the final three tips for today, flexibility, visibility, and relevance. I hope you have enjoyed the six tips to help build your influence, and I look forward to continuing to share information with you. If you want to reach me, uh, I am at Andrea at EliteLeadershipCoaching.org. Thank you.